you were kind of stopped at the door, and I really suspect it's because nobody initially recognized you. You look so different. <laughs> yeah. For anybody who's just drawn a blank for a moment, this is Reese with that cute little blonde hair. You have a whole new look now. You look yes. gorgeous. Thank you very much. Thanks. And I we'll have to say, you're such a nice addition. Oh, you know, thank you. The show, and I just kind of missed it. We all kind of thought for a while you might be Allison's sister. There yeah. There was that little kind of... There was a little rumor, I know. Oh, in the big rumor. But. Yeah. So what are you up to now? It's sad news that we're not going to be able to see. Yeah, morning. it's really sad, but you know, uh, it's whenever one door closes, so many more open, and I think that all of us was uh, such a strong and talented group. You know, everyone I work with is so amazingly powerfully talented, and I think that it's going to be okay. And it's going to be a good thing. Well, and you got some great experience. Worked with a lot of really good people, and. Yeah, it was a blessing. It really was. It was great. It was a really great season. And it's unfortunate that um, things are the way they are, but moving onwards and upwards. As for she knows. I'm from London. I love, I love your accent. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, it was nice talking to you, and I hope you have fun tonight. Your first Thank time. You. Yes, I was. Charles and I'm very excited. There are like 300 just really excited fans in the really? room over there. Yes. And they're loaded down with their pictures and their cameras. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Do you have a. Who's this person? This is Brian Gaskill, and welcome, Brian. It's great to see you. It's good to see you. And everybody's talking about who's going to be doing what, where their favorite's going to be going. And I know a lot of fans were very relieved to hear that you were going to be showing up in Bold and Beautiful and staying in Southern California. Does it really matter to them that I stayed in Southern California? Yeah, well, if they live in Southern California, I'm sure, though, there are a lot of... Uh, let's see, shall we say all my children, New York fans are probably a little disappointed, kind of hope that maybe you're going to move to their coast, they might see you more often, but I have a lot of, there'll be a lot of new B&B fans. When ha do you start taping? I've been taping for about a little over a week. So what's it like starting on a new show? It's, you know, it's cool. It's fun. It's new energy. It's cool. what's, what's the name of your character? Oscar. Oscar. <laughs> Can you tell us? Known by Ozzy, Oz. Can you tell us anything about it, about him? Um, he's from Atlantic City, New Jersey. He's been living in Vegas since he was 15. His father died a couple years ago. He's been running his father's casino. People have been trying to push him out. So he's down in Ve He's down in uh, L.A. looking for help. Um, but. Uh, so, and obviously, B and B takes place in Los Angeles, which yeah. it's kind of cool. It's not in some fictional town. Yeah. Um, so that's that. Basically, I just want to say real quick, I, I um, thank you. Trevor. You made it a great ride. It was a lot of fun. It's a great character. And, uh, but you know, most of you loved it as much as I did. So I just want to say thanks. All right. Well, thank you, Brian, and good luck. Thank you. For Give me a nice smile. Historical episodes when you switch. When we switch, wasn't that funny? I couldn't believe it, and I just have to say, how <laughs> I was with your acting ability because you had Allison down cold. Thank you. And I mean, without the makeup. I think we've been practicing. I mean, she always has fun of me. You guys are so historical. Well, 
you know, I know what you need. It's a muffin. It was so funny. There was actually a lot more to that, but it got cut out because I couldn't finish the line without hysterically laughing. So there was more dialogue than that. I was surprised that they cut it. Do you remember what the rest of it was? It was like, you know, elaborating on muffins. Warm, sweet, delicious, tender, juicy muffins, you know. And I couldn't say with, although I was crying while I was saying it, because that was part of the skit, I couldn't say it without hysterically laughing at the same time. So it wound up not making it through the editing. I mean, you just did a great job with the hair pulled back and the makeup. I mean, it was just, it was brilliant. Thank you. It was brilliant. It was fun. It was so completely different than living or test. I have to say welcome to General Hospital. Thank you. Now, I think I heard you're going to be playing, is it Samantha? Sam. Yep, Sam. Samantha. Okay. Yep. And the buzz is that you were in the bingo. Speculation at this point, but I've heard it as well. That's I mean, just you never rumor. know who you click with chemistry-wise, yes. but you definitely have kind of a Brenda-esque, the dark hair. Look. I, I hope they don't go for that because yeah. I'd like to, you know, be an individual and not have to fill anyone's shoes. So hopefully, I, I definitely think that you'll create a total and completely okay. unique. Yeah. You know, character, but I mean, just the coloring and right. And sometimes right. It, it just a certain. No, I, I, yeah, I understand that. And I, you know, I just think you're going to light up the screen and have. Thank you. I'm really unexpected nervous. Unexpected fire with probably a lot of cries, <laughs> and there's a couple that are kind of single, and you could probably shake things up. Let's hope so. When can I ask when you start taping? Uh, September second. And do you know when you'll start airing? October first. October first. All right. Well, we'll be looking for you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh. oh, thank you. He's a good husband. <laughs> Aaron and Brian, the newlyweds. <laughs> a year. It's been a year. And our last annual Port Charles dinner. And uh, right. yeah, Brian, I have to ask you, how's Eddie going? We're finished. You're finished. So we're finished. We're doing a screening tomorrow. Tomorrow morning we'll see it for the first time. So. Right. And can fans right. hope to see it somewhere? Uh, yeah, they, hopefully um, it'll be available <laughs> after the new year. So. In probably spring, so it'll be. We'll have a. I'll keep it posted with the, our fan club, and so and I'll have it on the internet. Uh, and how can somebody join your fan club to get to keep up to date with what your current projects are? Is it Debbie? Debbie O'Connor is is kind of who is in charge of the fan event here. And, right. Um, we, uh, I don't web. know the email address. Though. I have it, and anybody can contact me, and I can put them in touch with oh, okay. how to, you know, join the fan club. Erin, I have to compliment. I was just telling, talking to Kelly. One of my all-time favorite soap episodes ever was when the two of you switched <laughs> bodies. Our, that was hysterically funny, and we you know, were all so nervous for that day because we've only played okay. one character for three years, Let and so me, uh, trying to be other, you know, the other person. It's such completely opposite character. It's a little intimidating because if you don't do it right, you look a little stupid. So <laughs> now, you couldn't have done it better. I mean, I'm serious. I laughed my head I never head saw off. that episode actually, so I don't know. You, that is what you must see. I mean, it was great. And, I mean, she had you down cold. And you had her down cold. It well, we really make fun of each other all the time. So. You guys did such a great job. And I know a lot of fans are wondering what projects everybody's moving on to. Oh, right. And do you have any hopes or plans or anything you you can talk about yet? Well, it's so uh, it's so much up in the air right now. It's really, it's a battle, I think, internally for Brian and I, a battle between New York versus L.A. Right. Um, and what arena that is, I don't know. Um, there's some opportunities in uh, New York for daytime. Um, and there's also some opportunities here for daytime. Anything that you could talk about? You know, we're not, like, we, have, we are so undecided at this point. It's just, we're just trying to weigh it all out. It's between two networks. So, we're uh, just kind of playing it by ear. So okay. We wish we didn't have to choose. <laughs> Yeah. Well, we wish we didn't have to say goodbye. I know. Yeah, it's well, not really goodbye, just kind of... Uh...
moving on to the next thing and, and uh, you guys are so great with the fans i mean super soap weekend you were the hit and you know we're gonna last that. year you Aww. talked about you know your wedding and you erin you are just like the best storyteller oh she is she's hey. a very good storyteller well i like a i like a room full of ladies and guys so a, a, a talker anyway well we got like 300 people in the next room it's the biggest fan club luncheon ever well, we're so excited that they would still want to do it i mean a lot of the More times so. Your show, you know, it, it happens a lot in this town. If your show gets canceled um, and the network decides to move on with something else, that a lot of people feel invested of, you know, well, why should we go? Because they're going to be gone anyway, so really, why go? So we didn't even know if they were going to have one this year. Um, and when Debbie told us that they were going to, uh, I think everyone was... Uh, Glad to come back. Yeah. And say thank you. So. Well, and did, did you find out after you'd already separated, after you got on hiatus? Yeah, that was the hard part. Is that we weren't all together when we found out. We got different, separate phone calls on on our cell phones um, when we were out and about for the day. So the fact, if we would have been together, had we known the last. The last uh, episode that we did, <laughs> it's a doozy. Uh, the last episode that we did, had we known, it would have been different, and it would have been our time to say goodbye properly to each other well, that, and, and our crew. It's really nice that you guys were able to come tonight and you know support the fans and the fan club. We and also, I think from, for you to have a chance to see each other and, and see we flew in straight from uh, Turtle Island, Fiji, to be here. Ooh. We were just there yesterday, so. And is that the honeymoon that you never have that you guys? Well, you guys are two of the nicest people. And my mama always used to say what goes around comes around. I think nothing but good things are going to come your way. Bless her Thank mom. you. Anyway, have fun. All right, thanks. Thank you. Bye. Hi, Marie. It's great Hi. to see you. Everybody's going to be so excited. Yeah, I'm not dead. I'm still around. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I thought I'd come here today for this kind of bittersweet event. Um, I think it'll be the last one since Port Charles is no longer with us. Um, but it was such a great run and I just want to thank all the fans for all their support because we wouldn't have made it without you. <laughs> so, thank you. And you did such a great job with the ladies' events that you've attended in the past. And how's your thank beautiful you. little baby girl? She's, uh, she's grown up now. She's starting preschool next week. <laughs> You're kidding me. I remember her as this beautiful little infant. Yeah, yeah, no preschool. longer. She's a little yeah. girl now. And she's speaking and has learned the oh, word Oh, no. she's talking all right. <laughs> so, I bet she's keeping you busy. Oh, yeah, very busy. And are there any projects that we could be looking forward to? I actually I actually just signed on to a film that's shooting in Florida um, starting in October. So and it's called Catharsis. So I'm looking very forward to doing that. Yeah. So you're so, gonna be on location? Yep, I'll be on location in Florida. Uh, we're negotiating that right now and trying to figure out times and stuff like that. And, but yeah. are you gonna take your family? Are they gonna go with? They gave me the option that I could bring um, my little girl with me. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to see Play of Fire. It's still until October, so I have a few weeks left. And when would that come out? When can fans look forward to that? No idea. No idea. With the way editing and everything works. But I will let you know if I, you know, okay. keep get updated and All stuff right. like that. I will definitely let you know. Well, and I wanted to ask you it, your favorite memories of being on Port Charles. <sighs> My favorite memories. What do you miss the most? Who do I miss the most? Or what about being on the show? I think it's just having another family to go to is what I miss the most. Um, you know, it was just nice waking up and enjoying going to work every day. <laughs> you guys yeah. always seem to have such camaraderie and oh my God. such a great group of people. Oh, it was awesome. And everybody seems like they really look up to Torsten. I always hear that. I mean, Torsten who? Every time in the magazines, it's always, well, who do you go to? You know, who's the shoulder to... Torsten, not just one Torsten. person. Torsten, Torsten, Torsten. Well, I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> Well, congratulations Thank you on your new much. project, Thank you and very it's much. so nice of you to take the time to be here tonight. I know it's going to mean an awful lot to fans. Well, I appreciate them too, so that's why I'm here. Thank you very much. Thank you.
Benitos. Hi. Ricky, it's great to see you. Thank it's, you for thank coming. Thank you. It's great to be seen. And I just had to tell you, you had a Super Soap Weekend <laughs> in Anaheim. Uh -huh. You were such a hit. You had to fill in at the last minute yeah. at yeah. a casting call, and you came out and did the dialogue in Spanish, mm -hmm. and I think probably made some of it up. Yeah, yeah. And it was hysterical. I mean, it didn't matter what you said, it sounded so sexy and Spanish. Thank you so much. I gotta tell you, I was I was really shaking in my boots when they came up to me and, and I was in my autograph signing session and they said, uh, hey, we need you to fill in Brian is sick. And I said, how much time do I have? And I thought that the answer was going to be, oh, it's a three and a couple of hours. Well, the answer was 15 minutes. And I just instantly became nervous and I got I grabbed Brian Presley and I said, what do I do? How do I make this money? How do I make this work? He's like, just be yourself and go up there. And I was sitting around waiting um, about five minutes before I went on and I just the idea just came to my head. I said, why don't I just do this in Spanish and see what happens? And, uh, yeah, and my husband speaks I, I Spanish. guess it worked. It totally worked. My husband speaks Spanish, so I had him translate. And there was some things that it was, uh, I think about the Mighty Ducks. Yeah, well, you know, I knew I had the, I knew, I, I knew, I knew that was a, a, a can't miss, the Mighty Ducks. Yeah. I threw in the Miami Dolphins well, in there because that's my favorite football there team. You know. And for some people, that was what they understood was, okay, Mighty Ducks. You know what, you know, you know how I, I, um, I'm sorry, I just saw Marie Wilson and I got flustered. Um, basically, the whole idea came from, if you ever watch the Spanish newscast, mm -hmm. <laughs> for example, you watch the sportscaster, you sit there and you watch and all you hear is and all of a sudden they go, blah, 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 the Miami Dolphins, and the pronunciation is just perfect, you know, and they'll be like, blah, 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 the New York Yankees, so I figured that maybe I could throw a little bit of that in, and, and it worked, thank God. With fans, you're warm and charming Thank and you. very funny. Thank you. And I mean, you could definitely make a career in novellas. <laughs> I'm gonna try. You know, that's something that I'm keeping my uh, I'm, I'm keeping my options open there. And I've met some producers in, in novellas. Um, but you know what? And this is based the, the, basically the reason why I'm good with the fans is because I'm here because of the fans. So. Um, you, the fans have made me feel so welcome here, and I really appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. And uh, I mean, that's the least I could do: is sign an autograph, give a hug, take a picture. You know, that's so. That's nothing. So, thank you. Well, is there any projects we can look forward to? Um, I mean, are you working on music? You know what? Or? Right now, I think what a lot of us did um, was when we found out when the news came down. We took some time off, and that's what I've done. I've just kind of taken some time to just basically feel it, feel myself out, see see where I'm at, and uh, and and just decide where I want to go and go from there. I'm, I'm auditioning for a lot of projects, and I'm considering a couple of things. Uh, I've taken a few meetings, and wherever it goes, whether it's daytime, uh, prime time, or, or film, you know. So you're more interested in pursuing acting. I like to work. Music? You know what? I like to work. Uh, my priority is acting. And music sometimes just just always happens to just what? Shut up, Brian. <laughs> that's my that's before that's way long before poor Charles. Anyway, um, um, music just seems to follow me in acting. And who would have ever known that I would have gotten poor Charles? They found out that I was a musician, and they made my character a musician. So um, again, music. I mean, uh, acting is my career, and uh, if I can parlay music into it, then so be it. Well, we wish you the best of luck. Thank you so and much. We appreciate so much you coming. Thank tonight. you guys so Everybody's much. So I appreciate excited. you guys so much. Thank you.
Mrs. Joy, doing the robot. Who's very angelic uh, recently. <laughs> What's it like playing an angel? Is that like a lot of pressure? But you're kind of like a bad girl angel. Yeah, you can't hope the to exception of an angel. You know, a little misfit. Um, it's, you know what? It's been such a fun character to play, and I thank everybody for standing behind Casey. Enough so that they brought a twin sister on so I could stay on the show. And then we'd pair out and brought Casey back. But thank you for the support and pulling through for the show and just all the fan letters. And just anytime I meet anybody anywhere, they're just the coolest. So thank you so much for all the love and support. And um, man, um, if I had something to promote, I'd promote it right about now. But um, <laughs> what are you hoping to do? What would you like to do? Uh, uh, hopefully, I'll be able to book like that. I'm waiting for pilot season. Hopefully something comes up pilot season. Auditioning still movies right now. But, um, hopefully things will happen. So thank you. But most importantly, thank you for standing behind the show so much. I know it makes it makes not only us sad, but it makes us sad that fans aren't going to have that. You know, because no one knew. Yeah. Oh, and fans are just up in arms that we didn't get a finale and get everybody back. And it must have been hard for you guys because you're on hiatus. Yeah, and you know the weird thing was, I was doing some publicity stuff um, for the show just two days before we got the call that we were we were going to get canceled. And so it was just like, no one saw it coming. Well, I didn't see it coming, at least. Or well, Torsten said he shaved his head. <laughs> I, well, I should have done this. You know, I did the same thing. This is just a really good no. hair piece. <laughs> See? Huh? 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 Yeah. Thank you again. Um, stuff that you guys missed. Uh, um, Eddie and, and, and Kiko are... <laughs> and you had great chemistry with both of them. Yeah. You know, actually, they're, they are my, like, brothers. Soul brothers in life. They are the coolest. And the women... It's just family. It's such a great show. So, is there, who do you think you'll keep in touch with? Probably everybody. You guys will have like Port Charles reunions. Port Charles, yeah. Port Charles Saturdays. I'm so fed. Is that gonna? Can you tell us anything about what's gonna happen? We'll be, we, they better air the rest of what you oh, filmed. Gonna, yeah, they're gonna air. Then we filmed all the way into October, so all of those shows are gonna be shown. So, so the end of October, and then after that. It's the big, but I heard that the end end, well, what we filmed up to is just like the weird thing was the big stuff happening. Cliffhanger, though. Yeah, it's cliffhanger. Next lifetime. Well, we'll just make up our own ending. <laughs> right. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for Charles. Charles. Thank you, Joy. Bye. Have a great time. Bye. You too. Hello. This is Tamara. Welcome to the last annual Port Charles dinner. Yeah. Yes. I'm weeping. Very weeping. No, no crying <laughs> loud because once anybody starts, I said if Eric starts crying, that's it. I'm done. I know. I know. How long have you been a fan? Um, I've been watching Port Charles since uh, I think it was June 1st, 1997, with the premiere. No uh, kidding. So. And why did you want to? Why did you want to watch Port oh, Charles? What was it, the attraction? A GH fan since the uh, early Luke and Laura days. And just, and it was fun to watch a new show, and the for GH luncheon, like six years ago, they had uh, the actors from PC come, and they were so adorable, and yeah. it's such a great cast. Yeah, they're a lot of fun to work What are you going to miss the most? Well, you know, I've missed them for a long time. <laughs> um, I, uh, you miss the camaraderie. Uh, you miss working with everybody. You miss, um, you certainly miss the paycheck. Um, you miss the clothes, you miss the makeup, the hair. So what is that whole process like, hair and makeup? I mean, is that... It's a nice, forever? it's my favorite part of the day. It's two hours in the chair, fall back, let somebody else pamper you, and then you, you know, walk on stage looking glamorous. And I would never get that way unless actually someone did that to me every day. Like they did now, before I came here. Well, you're um, Oh, thanks. Lighting, makeup. Yeah. See? Yeah. See? Yeah. Um, and, uh, but I, you know, I, 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 I also think that when something ends, there's a new beginning. Always. You know, so this will open up doors for everybody else on the show. It has opened up doors for me. 
Um, it's been a great thing. Um, and it probably will inspire some new creativity. That's what uncomfortable things do to you. When, you, when you're placed in a position where you feel discomfort and um, you have to move no matter what, um, it, it really does force you into a realm of creativity, especially if you are an artist, and I use that word sparingly in this business. So, um, uh, so uh, you know, you, things get comfortable. And I think as a person that is creative, needs to be stretched and constantly expanding. So it's, I think, instead of looking at the glass half full, or half empty, you want to look at it half full. Well, it's great to see you. And I know it's going to mean a lot to the fans to have the cast here. Great. It's closure. Torsten said today it was going to be like a wait. <laughs> I know. I, I know. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's strange how they um, cut it off so quickly without even an ending. But that's kind of the nature of the beast right now. So, you know, you just got to deal with the cards that are, that are given to you and, and keep playing them out, you know. And uh, as, as cliche as it is, you keep smiling your way through it. Um, that's so cliche, but it's true. Otherwise, you're just going to eat yourself up. You know, so it's, it's a good thing, you know, and hopefully we see these people on prime time in movies, yeah. right? Yep. Yeah. Well, and, you know, daytime fans are some of the most loyal. I know. They follow people everywhere. I, it's really strange. The mail that I've got is extreme hate mail or extreme love. No in between. No in between, you know. Well, the in betweeners are neutral, so. Yeah, they wouldn't care anyways, yes. right. They have to like, and, and I love the hate as much as I love the love because they're both equally entertaining. But for there me. is, the hate's yeah. probably directed at character. No, abs oh, sure, 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 no, no, no. Why did you do this? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, so it's, it's fantastic, it's a real, um, it means you're doing your job. Yeah, it's a real hoot for me to actually open it up and read the letters. And I read all of them. They're a, they're a lot of fun. So I appreciate it. And can the actors still receive fan mail at the studios? How can they get in touch with it if they want to continue to send mail? Do you know? Uh, probably through uh, Debbie O'Connor. She's my um, fan mail uh, person, publicist. Okay. So, <laughs> thank you for taking the time to talk with us today. Flatland. Flatland. Yeah. We'll have to watch for that. Keep your eyes. And this is 
awesome guys. Uh, just uh, finished a run on Hunter. They remade the series. Fred Dreyer and Stephanie Kramer. Yes. Played a regular on that for a few months and um, for NBC. Right. And, uh, He's got a really awesome band. Oh, what's the name of your band? It's called Simple World. Right. They got just got nominated for a, a Best Album of the Year for the LA Music Awards. We just found out. Congratulations. So, yeah. so we've been doing awesome. a lot of music too. Yeah. So. And if fans wanted to come check your band out. Yeah, they, they, uh, great. They, uh, they can go to simpleworldmusic.com okay. and uh, check out the band. And, and you know, it's got all the dates and upcoming uh, dates and all that kind of stuff on there. And there's a, I think, I think the CD's on sale um, on the website as well. Well, it's nice to have you here. Thanks for joining us. Thank you to all the fans I've also been for everything. Doing hair packs. Oh, now let me get a close up of that. Yes. That is. So you're getting into designing. Yeah, I've been designing. Oh, how fun! I'm doing. I have actually a lot of um, General Hospital Port Charles people on on my, you know, the, the site, regular customers, and yeah, and uh, keep in touch with them all the time through that. Are they available online? Yeah, and they're what's available the online. It's uh, launicahandbags.com. Which is L A U N I C A handbags. And so they're available for purchase? La Unica is Spanish for the only one. It yeah. kind of the Spanish rub, rubbed off on my he wife. He named it. <laughs> and with the demise of Port Charles, what are some of your favorite memories? Well, I, don't, I, I was never, I never got to be a part of Port Charles other than through him. Mm -hmm. But you know, I guess it's kind of the the creation of the character and, and, and the fondness of having it continue into another show was, yeah. was really amazing. And because we all remember you on General Hospital, <laughs> and you know, I was watching. A friend sent me a tape uh, when you were stranded up in Big Bear on the those island. location scenes yes. and the island with Jagger and Jason. Yeah. Hello. Steve Burton and Antonio Sabato. I, I was looking back at those pictures. Not a bad recently. job, is it? Not a bad job. And I was like, oh, no, those were a couple of hot guys that you didn't realize it then. <laughs> How long were you on location up there? A week? I we were there for, I think, about a week. Maybe, maybe not quite a week. Were, that, were they some long days? Was that fun to do long just to be days, out of the studio? Or? Very long. It was so much fun. We took a little uh, puddle jumper up there, just the cast, and, and we had a great time and, and uh, trotted around Big Bear up there. <laughs> and we had a great time. We spent a lot of time out on the lake and um, in cold water, submerged. I remember that. It was very cold. <laughs> yeah. uh, and fans still ask about Karen and Jagger. Yeah. You know, they have the happily ever after well for a little while, at least on General Hospital. I know. I know. I was sad to hear that um, that they that, that, that I guess they, they broke Well, up. that was a different that was a different show. A different time. Different yeah. time and it's But then Joe took over. So if Joe had never, yeah. you know, come yeah. to the picture then yeah. you know yeah, you wouldn't have Jagger. this guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I married the real one. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Well, it's great to see you, and thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you all for all the support. Yes, thank you.
Should I introduce my girlfriend first? Yes! My angel. She plays, um... Oh, wait a minute. She's first... Place Casey, my love. Uh, please give a warm welcome to Joy Bisco. Okay, this is my grandma that I love and adore, and it's always such a pleasure seeing her every single time. Susan Brown. Uh, the first 
the one thing I can say about working on this one is that there's a, no matter what happened backstage behind the scenes, there was, there was a, a real simple beauty and an innocence to everything we did. We were like, you know, we were really like a bunch of kids putting on a show. And we really believed in what we were doing, and we really tried to make it work. And, and thank you so much, because it was...
quite tell you, honestly, in front of a whole group of people how much it means to us. I think it maybe would bring us to tears. So anyways, we appreciate it and we love you to death and we can't tell you how much we appreciate you coming out, especially, we didn't think anybody would come. <laughs> In my time in Port Charles, um, it's been awesome. I, I, I words don't even describe it. You know, we often talk about the Port Charles family uh, with the cast. Uh, we have a really unique cast that has a unique bond that I think is really hard to find on uh, a television show. There's no egos. Um, and for the most part, Eddie gets out of hand every once in a while. <laughs> but no, everyone, it's just a really neat bond. And then we have our crew, who uh, is unbelievable. And <laughs> Port Charles last year, a year and a half, was asked to do something that not many shows could do. And Port Charles did it. And it wasn't just one person, it was a team. Uh, from our producers, from everybody up. Uh, in the offices to our crew who, you know, we, we were just working like crazy to the cast who were learning, you know, page after page after page. And, you know, we often talk about that being our Port Charles family, but mo most of all, you guys are a part of that family. And you guys will always be a part of that Port Charles family um, that held on for quite a while and just couldn't hold on any longer. Um, but there will always be poor Charles in, uh, in our hearts, and uh, we thank you for having us. There were no egos except for this guy. <laughs> and what a pain in the ass he was for me. <laughs> I enjoyed every minute of it. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, everybody was great to work with. It was a fantastic learning experience. Uh, playing uh, blind was interesting um, and challenging, and um, I actually thank the producers from the bottom of my heart to actually cast me this part because it was it was the most challenging thing I've ever done in my acting career. That's of uh, two years. So <laughs> um, anyway, uh, I, I wish everybody here the best of luck. And um, and I know that they're going to open new doors for themselves and probably see them in quiet time and movies. So uh, thank you for your support. It means a lot to all of us. And um, we wish you all the best in your lives.
is that you all are our glue. You're the ones that, that hold everything together. You're the ones that make the shows happen. And without you, none of us would be able to sit up here. And for that, I do thank you very much. Um, I know that a lot of these young people are going to go on to do a lot of really great things. And, and even some of us that aren't so young <laughs> might, might be able to go on and, and do a few more fun things uh, before our number is up. But um, we couldn't do it regardless without all of you. And that's what tonight is all about. I, I know it's a final farewell party, but this is not farewell because you are definitely going to see everybody up here again. I, I didn't get the pleasure to work with um, most of these people on the stage. <laughs> I, I've been gone a while, but um, I do have a question for Rebecca. Uh, okay. yes. Didn't she used to model? Uh -huh. well, I used to model? Yeah. Yes. Who was your agent? <laughs> Thank you. 
we'll move on to better and bigger things, including myself, of course. <laughs> so uh, don't worry, we'll be back, Jack. <laughs> I guess really what I need to say is I've been asked all night what was my favorite part of Port Charles and these people right here. Um, I haven't had a family in California since I moved here and this is the closest thing I've found to it. So I miss everyone here a lot. And you fans as well. I thank and appreciate all of your support. And um, ABC is not going to be the same without us. to come and see us when, like, everyone has said why since we're going anyways. So I appreciate the last efforts. Thank you. Thorsten, do you want to say something else? <laughs> Who are you? I'm number three. <laughs> I'm number three. I'm my number. Uh, what do you have to do to get a drink in this place? Tor ask Torsten. <laughs> Listen, I just wanted to say thank you very much for all your support. You know, when I came on Port Charles, um, it was it was a tough time because I came in. Um, obviously, um, it was it was a you know a replacement role, and uh, you all just kind of opened your hearts to me, and and forever I will be in your uh, debt for that. And uh, you know, and the letters the letters that I got really. Um, and then we all got really, really touched our hearts, and, and you know, throughout the years, those are the things that kept us going. Um, I just wanted to thank you, thank the cast. I didn't work with a lot of these people, but um, some of them I did, regretfully. <laughs> for some king, I won't say any names. Um, but anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart for letting me into your family. Kids here. 
They are such good actors and so professional and so wonderful. I love each of them. She hides it with the hair. <laughs> Thank you all again. It's wonderful seeing you. And I do hope we don't do the Broadway thing. We see each other again soon. God bless you all.
We'll miss you. We'll, I think we're all going to maybe show up at Supers Open and have a workshop. That's Brian as well. Isn't it? <laughs> and yes, thank you for that too. Um, actually, she's she's a dear friend of mine. I've known her for quite a while, and she's pretty awesome and cool. Rebecca Staub. Could it be Brian and Kitsa? 
It's Ray Pinellas. <laughs>
Um, before I present this next award, I would um, like to recognize another past, uh, another um, member of our crew who had a huge hand in the everyday running of Port Charles. And is a great friend of mine who I love to death, and I just saw her standing over there. Our costume designer, Monique Adams. <laughs> That's my ding dong. What's up, ding dong? <laughs> anyway, the next award is uh, the biggie for favorite actress. And uh, it goes to one of my favorite people. She calls me hair because she makes fun of my hair all the time. Erin um, Hershey Presley. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. 
to her, tell her I, I, I missed her and I was here and, and I'm still here. Yeah.
We got some miles taken.